Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, Messy Gaming. So we are back in NBA 2K23, my team finally after the pandemic. So yep, we were actually affected also by that. So this time we have new packs with new odds. Now, I didn't show the a video of me opening the Stellar pack. I actually opened on this account and on my alternate account and on this account I like open around 20 packs only to get 8 galaxy opals and none of which is Ben Simmons can you believe that I've gotten almost all of them except one amethyst uh, Terry Mills and not one Ben Simmons I think I got five Scotty Pippins all non auctionable and three chat omgrens all non-auctionable so it's really ridiculous uh the rate although they have increased the odds well i think it's kind of better so at least for this time we have the new alternate reality deluxe packs now as you can see they have the same setup where each pack contains one guaranteed auctionable alternate reality player uh well four random items with a chance to receive a bonus non-auctionable alternate reality player cards now is there any difference if let's say oh okay that's kind of weird there's only a 10 pack there's no 20 pack hmm let me reload the game and see if there's like a bug or something we are back and yes it seems that for this time there are only 10 packs i wonder why however they still apply the same uh do they still apply the same discount wait a minute oh it seems that this pack is more expensive oh so that's why holy crap this pack is worth 21,000 mt it must be worth it what's inside here so we have the new Galaxy Opals, uh, which have different teams, like we have Magic Johnson here playing for the New York Knicks. And a few ping time. Actually, for the Galaxy Opals, I've seen the stats. They look awesome. Magic Johnson might be a little bit better than Ben Simmons because he can get all badges and he has better shooting stats. So, um, Pau Gasol is also nice. Mellow and Clay. Uh, it's kind of a debate which one is better if this, if both of this. Uh, cards or maybe the Scott and Pippin card that uh, we've just gotten from the Stellar pack. So I think these are more offensive oriented and if you want a more defensive guard then definitely Scott and Pippin is the right option. And we also have other pink diamond card that might be decent. Wait, before anything else, let's see the... Okay, based on the odds, this one has 2% less chance to get a Galaxy Opal. Now there was definitely a price increase i kind of remember it was uh the other pack it was 11,000 vc with 15,000 mt so well i think i'll just open a tent back back and call it a day i'm not even sure if it's worth it at this time so let's go ahead open a tent pack backs see what we can get hopefully we can get a galaxy opal at eight percent chance we should get at least one right and there you go we start with a shake uh hopefully it's not an amethyst we also have kind of interesting amethyst cards we have well it's going to be an amethyst we have i think um anthony davis yeah so it's really nice to see 2k shaking things up a bit with new concept but basically this one just only affect art the card art i don't know if it oh okay we start off with an amethyst penny hardaway that can also play pg and is from the golden state warriors and it's a holo so that's nice so second pack in i'm sure it's going to shake again because we haven't obtained any card at all so let's take it slow because this card is expensive and we are getting amethyst so far nothing better than amethyst yet this one will oh this one will be different looking at that hair it's most probably from the Toronto Raptors going to be yeah Steve Nash it is kind of a shame the the card art and the character hair is different and it's weird looking at Steve Nash with a Toronto Raptors jersey 
And okay, this one looks a little bit more lively. Okay, so this is most probably, as I said, going to be different because this one is already an amethyst and this is going to be a non optionable pink diamond card. Will it be? It looks like Paul George. Is that Paul George? Yes, I think. Small forward. Number 14 on the Lakers. It's going to be PG 14 this time. I'm not sure on his stats, but. We do get him as a non-optionable thing, and which means we'll not be able to sell. As we get our first non-shaker and our duplicate amethyst, another Steve Nash. This is our third Nash already of the four packs that we have opened so far. So since we are guaranteed to get an alternate reality card, it means that we will be most probably getting at least an amethyst card. Again, we have on our six pack we have a shake. And this time it's a diamond. Yep, it's definitely a diamond by this time. We've got used already to seeing which one is a galaxy opal and which one is a diamond. There's definitely a shade of purple on the galaxy opal. And for the diamond, there isn't any. It's all white. As we get the Rosen, the more the Rosen from the Lakers. We're still looking forward to seeing the more the Rosen on the Lakers roster someday because he definitely wanted to play with the Lakers. Again, on the 7th pack, we have a shake. This time, will it be, I think... Do we have all the amethyst? No, not yet. So that means it's going to shake. It is going to be AD. Yes, it's going to be AD with that afro. Our forward, number 3. This time, from the Chicago Bulls, Anthony Davis. Really nice concept you got there. Looking good at the Bulls jersey too. Hmm, very interesting. Very interesting. It kind of given... Given that we have just finished the trade deadline for this season, as we start on the 8th pack, right there in the middle, a pink diamond. So what do you think of the trades that just happened? There are really interesting trades, a lot of shakeups. So with this one, it's going to be Amaris Stoudemire with the goggles on from the Cleveland Cavs, Amaris Stoudemire. <laughs> Those glasses almost look like uh, the funny glasses which has a nose on, right? So that's kind of cute. Oh, I wasn't able to see if that's a non-auctionable or not. But I kind of assume that it's going to be a non-auctionable. Same as this one. Will it be, please, our first Galaxy Opal? It is finally our first Galaxy Opal. Please, come on. I only wanted Magic Johnson on this pack. Definitely all the others. I'm not too interested, so please give me a Magic Johnson. It's not going to be Magic. It looks like it's going to be Center Pau Gasol uh, from the Houston Rockets. It's kind of weird saying out loud their teams. But yep, we do get Pau Gasol, which is also kind of interesting. Kind of small though at the center position. Might be better at the power forward position. But the problem is we've had so many power forwards already from the past packs as we end with an unshaker such a disappointment especially for an expensive pack now see uh, we've got a lot of um a lot of duplicates so let's all send everything to the auctions send all okay and uh later let's sort it out but yeah we cannot uh, because i really just wanted to get magic johnson just one magic johnson so let's go ahead and open this pack and yup we are definitely not going to be buying empty anymore 2k is really um cracking down on this uh empty buyers so we're stuck into buying vc and good thing that they've given good ads we did get one galaxy opal from the 10 pack that we've opened and as we start whoa wait that's a diamond price ball it's also cool and a pink diamond on our first pack. Did we get all the pink diamond already? Nope. Looks like this one is going to be new. This is going to be CP3, one of my favorite point guards. And he's also playing with the Lakers. Can you imagine Chris Paul playing with the Lakers with his friend LeBron? It just wouldn't happen anymore. Especially with Suns getting KD. Incredible. Big 3. Now second pack. This box is not going to be interesting anymore because we've already gotten the good ones, right? So, yes, we've got our duplicate uh, AD there. Finally, another shake. Will this be a Galaxy Opal? 
No, it's not Galaxy Opal. But at least I think it's going to be auctionable. This is going to be our diamond. Uh, okay, this is not duplicate, right? Small forward number 33 from the Indiana Pacers. It's going to be Larry Bird. Can you imagine? Larry Bird playing for the Indiana Pacers all this time. It's kind of really weird seeing Larry Bird not on a solid jersey. And there you go. As we once again happen to have, I suppose, another non auctionable card. Okay. It's another Galaxy Opal. Please, 2K. Just give me Magic Johnson and I'll be happy. Will this be Magic Johnson? Oh no. It's another. Wait, wait. It's another Pau Gasol. Now that's the problem. Can you imagine giving me duplicates? It just so happened that. Okay, so we have no choice again but to sell that card. That one Galaxy Opal that you get for every 10 pack backs and you get a duplicate. Ugh, it's quite a shame. Quite a shame. So, and also I've noticed, I'm not sure, but it seems that you can barely get an auctionable card anymore. Um, it, I feel that the the regional odds are still applicable for the auctionable cards meaning you are still basically uh, can get a galaxy opal card for less than two percent chance for the auctionable version and then the other six percent chance is for the non-auctionable version because it's super hard to get a galaxy opal okay it's an amethyst an amethyst that we most probably don't have it's super hard to get the Galaxy Opal non-auctionable -auction, uh, version. We always get non-auctionable version. Like uh, the past, we have like, as I told you, I've gotten eight Galaxy Opals. All of them are non-auctionable. And I haven't gotten Ben Simmons. They're mostly duplicates. So I kind of feel that there's really an, an innate odds like for example, you get 2% chance to get a Galaxy Opal and yet only 20% chance of that is the better one. It's the better Galaxy Opal, even less. So to be honest, 2K needs to have some transparency as on our 9th pack, we hopefully we get our Galaxy Opal again because this one is definitely going to be the auctionable Amethyst. It's not, it's a diamond. So seriously, 2K, you've, gotten, you've given me two Galaxy Opals duplicate auctionable i cannot even sell them this is really getting ridiculous i'm not even sure if it's good anymore but it's kind of a shame that uh we are not able to sell the cards that we are getting on the auction as we end with a bad taste in our mouth on a 10 pack a duplicate donovan mitchell but first yes there you go both Pau Gasol, non-auctionable. Huh. And, okay, so before anything else, we still have the Hall of Fame uh, exchange. So at least it gets somewhere. So for you, for those of you that have gotten a duplicate Galaxy Opal, before setting it outright, put it on the exchange for the half badge. Alright, so we are back and yeah, it kind of sucks that the, okay, this, obviously this is the last 10 pack that I will be opening. Uh, I've ha I've opened more than what I was originally planning and that's because I've gotten duplicate Galaxy Opal cards. So hopefully this time, okay, double, double shaker means good, right? It's either pink diamond and a Galaxy Opal, so... It seems that, oh no, both diamonds. Seriously. Not, not even gave me one Galaxy Opal. So I don't think we have shooting guard. Oh, it's still Timar. So most probably it's going to be one auctionable and one an auctionable Dimar. So come on, TK. Better odds. So please. Give me better cards. So, yep, it's going to be two Demar the Rosen. Uh, at least one is auctionable. So, we'll be able to sell that. 
and then okay we got another shake for the second pack will this be any different oh do we still we are still missing an amethyst card we are we don't have from the western conference point guard number one it's no we already have it for near the way so it's just 2k being 2k again glitching uh Bleaching again. So, third pack in. Do we have a shake? Okay, so for some reason, all the Amethyst cards are shaking again. As we get our... I don't know how many times we've already gotten Anthony Davis, but... Yep. The cards only look interesting at the start, to be honest. Then later on, it can... Just... However... It's still interesting, I suppose. So we've gotten shakes. After shakes, most probably it's going to be an amethyst. It seems like um, okay for you to just shut up. That uh, here you go. We will give you some shakes, but it's just going to be the amethyst that we've already gotten. So most probably we've already gotten all the cards that we can get, except maybe for another pink diamond or something. Oh, okay. As I was saying that. We've got a pink diamond in the middle that is most probably, again, not going to be auctionable. And this is going to be from the Western Conference point. It's going to be CP3, right? From the Lakers, non-auctionable. I don't even remember. I, most probably, it's also non-auctionable, the other one that I've gotten. So, all of this will just be quick sold. Six pack in. And it's not looking good. We still haven't gotten our Galaxy Opal card for this box. Come on, 3K. 8% chance. I know that's less than 10% chance. But can you just round it off and give me at least one Galaxy Opal for 10 pack box? This box ain't cheap. So as we say that, there, yep, no more shakes. And we have three more packs remaining looks like we are not going to be getting a galaxy opal from this box or will there be nope will there be a, a clutch last pack nope it's all non-shakers all right so we'll end with the last three packs because hopefully uh, we get something good for the last three packs. Yep, there's a shake and there's another amethyst. And this is supposed to be 8%. So we are supposed to get at least one more galaxy opal. For the odds to make sense. So we get another Steve Nash. And this is going to be cheap because that's a guaranteed um, pack. So most probably the amethyst will be flooding the market. Come on, I was just hoping for a Magic Johnson. And all we've got are like two Paugasols. Not even Clay or not even Carmelo. And it's really frustrating opening packs for DK. So hopefully we'll be seeing good cards come next week because is that next week or the week after that where we see the All-Star Weekend. But yeah, this will be the last pack for today. Um, hopefully, oh okay, with the clutch Galaxy Opal, finally. Please, not center. Just give me Magic Johnson and I'll be happy. What's that? Shooting guard, it's clay. It's not Magic Johnson, it's clay. It's not auctionable. Yeah, at least it's not Pau Gasol, but mm, not, I can't say I'm, I'll, I'll be too happy about that, to be honest. So, Let's do a quick recap of what we've gotten uh, from this session. It's again we've opened around 33 packs. No, it's exactly 33 packs. 
And we've gotten 11 cards out of the 15. So we missed Tim Duncan. I was actually looking forward to getting Tim Duncan He's on the Orlando Magic. But it seems that we are not able to get him. And we missed Kevin Love. So that's the other pink diamond that I was missing. And we've gotten two Galaxy Opals, one duplicate, both non-auctionable. And I think we got one auctionable Chris Paul. So that shows you the odds. There is supposed to be 25% chance to get a pink diamond. So 400. Okay, tokens for that. So, yep, that's it. So once again, thank you for watching this video. If you did like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel for more gaming content. I am also covering, in addition to NBA 2K23, I'm also covering Genshin Impact and Diablo Immortal. So if you like those games, you can consider subscribing to my channel and watch the videos that I have made for those other games as well. Now, if you're still playing NBA 2K23, my team, please leave a comment letting me know if you're still opening this pack given the prices and given this odds and if you are opening this pack let me know what have you gotten from the alternate reality deluxe pack and uh, what are you looking forward for to the nba all-star weekend so that's it once again thank you for watching stay safe stay awesome stay amazing and see you on the next one goodbye